The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. This summer, embark on a transformative journey with the Believer's Walk of Faith as we dive into the foundational teachings of faith. Join Dr. Bill Winston in our powerful summer series, Back to the Basics, where we'll unlock the timeless wisdom and revelation for walking by faith from his extensive library. We're going back to old school. Yes, Say amen. amen. We're going back to the oldies but goodies. These are things that'll work for you. I don't care what season you're in. I don't care whether you got a PhD or no D. I don't care whether you're in Africa or in Asia. This will work for you anytime, any place. Get ready for the basic fundamentals for every believer to live a victorious life as a kingdom citizen. Don't miss out. Tune in every week to gain understanding, revelation, and reignite your commitment of faith. Watch every week on Believer's Walk of Faith and spread the word. Hello, Bill Winston here. Welcome to another program. The program that you're watching is called The Believer's Walk of Faith, where we walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, what an exciting program we have for you today. We're teaching still on this receiving your inheritance. And we're in this area called commanding the blessing. Now, this is where we're teaching on the blessing and what the blessing is, uh, how you receive the blessing, what the blessing does for you, how it can bring you into favor and to promotion supernaturally. Now, one of the things I want you to see in this particular teaching or here, this kingdom of God must be demonstrated. In other words, if we're from another kingdom, and we are, we are not from the kingdom of this world. We are from the kingdom of God. And that blessing is on our lives. Well, it's on our lives to really add performance to our lives. Because sometimes what happens is people are trying to get other folks to drop the standards so they can get in. You, you don't need that anymore. See, you need that in the world. Once you come into the blessing, the blessing actually trains you. It actually becomes your teacher. Now, we know the Holy Spirit does this, but the blessing is this authorization to get all this done. Let me give you an example. Here is David, and he's going to fight Goliath. And the first thing that Saul, the king, told him, says, hey, this big guy has been trained in war from his youth. Well, that didn't make any difference. In Psalm chapter 144 and verse 1, he says this, that God teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Now, what is he saying here? He is saying, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. When you have that blessing, it'll give you proficiency in areas that you've never been trained in. It is powerful. Now, the last thing I want you to note is understand belief or believing. See, one of the reasons why God couldn't work for the children of Israel is because of unbelief. They didn't believe. Well, to believe is unqualified committal. You know what that means? That means sell out. Sell out. This is true, and I'm going to stand on it. Praise God. Get your Bibles and pencils and papers ready. Let's go and take some good notes now. It's called Commanding the Blessing. Let's go into it. God is relying on the church to help him take back the world and put it, I'm talking about the people in the property, and put it back into the kingdom. And he's looking for you to take and bring this thing back to where the garden was. Yes, Amen. Now, this strong stuff here, folks. But in democracy, see, you can, you can fluctuate. You can, you, can, you can say stuff. And, and if you don't like it, protest. Just pick up a sign. Hey, are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. See, see, you've got all that, but not so in the kingdom. Yeah. Whatever the word says, it is forever settled in heaven. Forever settled. God says, I am the Lord and I what? I don't change. I mean, that's why this country was a democratic republic, because it was a, it was a rule of law. Here it is. But now everybody's trying to change it, trying to change the Constitution, trying to change it, trying to change that. Well, you can't change this Bible. 
If it says by his stripes you were healed, folks, that is it. And what happened is people have not believed. Look what it said, two places. One, Romans chapter um, th- 4 and verse 3. What saith the scripture? Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Look at chapter 3, verse 3, please. For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, come on. Let God be true and every man be a liar. God sees you already healed. Come on. God sees you already rich. Glory to God. See, and you're not going to change him. Just because you don't want to be rich. Come on now. Come on. Mm. You preach it. I'm, I'm just talking now. And you say, well, ain't anybody be rich be running after that money. No, 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 no. He may have your assignment to every school in Chicago that tries to close because of no money. He wants you to reopen it. Come on now. Watch this. Not only that, but he wants you to go out and get instructors. Not just average. He wants you to get the best train that's been to the best schools that have proven themselves and load that school with them. Watch this and pay them some good money. (laughs) We got the devil where we want him now. See, and that's why the money, because I've got to turn that school into the garden. We can do this. You don't have to wait on the city to fix your street. You fix it. Well, pastor, I'll run out of money. You can't run out. God has set aside billions for your calling. Now start using some of it. Everybody's not willing to preach this. Because to preach this, you've got to stop blaming the government. Come on, to preach this, you got to unhook from your dependency on the system that's trying to keep you in your mind, try to keep it paralyzed as to what the truth really is. The truth is you are wealthy. The truth is you are here to take over, not take Side, the truth is, by his stripes you are healed, and you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. No, no, as long as you're begging, you're not exercising the blessing. Now try it. Begging your aunt for some money, begging your grandmama for something, begging the government for something, begging. The church is not to beg for nothing. I said for nothing. I tell you, everybody ain't willing to hear this. Notice what they did in chapter 14 of Numbers. They started trying to stone Joshua and Caleb for preaching the truth. And if anybody come up preaching the truth and tell you that you don't need to count on a man so a man can give you another handout, certain people get mad. And you need to come out of that because black Christians ought to know that no signed document got you off that cotton field. God got you off that cotton field. And what you need to do is give him some credit for Boy, I'm preaching this afternoon. All of a sudden, you don't need God no more. Now it's the man. He's mad and lip all stuck out. And you're being manipulated. But I'm going to leave that right where it is right now. 
Yeah. We're going to have the church yeah. be the church. Yeah. What did they say? Let the church say amen. Yeah. No, we don't need that, see. All that manipulation, racism, so forth and so on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what is that? You're supposed to be living seated together with him in heavenly places. And watch this. He's on the right hand of God. That is the side of blessing. That's where you are. You are in Christ. Y'all all right now? All right. Let me just see where we are now. Praise God. Y'all didn't preach me all the way downstairs here. <laughs> You know, sometimes you got to get this stuff out. All right. So let's look at this blessing because I got to believe this. And what I'm doing is I want you to have confidence in the blessing. I want you to have confidence in it because this blessing is going to do for you what no man on earth can do for you. Genesis chapter 25. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. Now, who was Rebekah? Isaac's wife. Okay, just for the sake of this meeting, let's call her Becky. So... Becky loved Jacob. <laughs> I had an aunt called Becky, so that's all right. I, I'm just, I'm trying, I'm taking some liberties, I know. Look at verse 29. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint, meaning that he was hungry. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee with that same red pottage, for I am faint. I'm going to put it in the day's work. I'm starved. Therefore was his name called Edom. Edom had red pottage. And Jacob said, sell me this day your birthright. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. He said, and what Prophet shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore to him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage and lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Despise me to think very small of. And I'm saying that here he despised the blessing. Now this blessing was going to give him a leg up on everything. Here is Joseph going down to Egypt, going down to Egypt with the blessing. And Joseph went down to Egypt and the next thing he's working as a slave. I'm talking about a slave. I'm talking about a shown enough slave. And notice what happened. He now rises up to be head over the whole ranch. Watch this. Without going to ranch management school. Come on, God will give you proficiency in an area that you have never been formally trained in because his promise is to raise you up and make you a blessing. So what happened? Then she comes against him. He's part of his wife. And he turns her down. And then he gets put in prison. Falsely accused. Am I right about it? In justice. And what does he do? He didn't get in prison and start belly aching about everybody. Now we know justice is going to be served. But when he got down there, next thing you know, God gives Pharaoh a dream. Pharaoh has a dream. Now 
They said, this man can interpret dreams, pull Joseph up there. Joseph got from prison to prime minister, watch this, with no training. Watch this. And now he's the boss over Potiphar. See, it's called the law of rejection. The stone that the builder rejected has become the head. And I'm telling you, if you've been rejected, get ready! Here, in this case, is Esau. He didn't value the blessing. So now, I'm going to go a couple more stages here. So here is now Jacob and his daddy is calling him in. So he goes in there posing himself as Esau. And verse 23 of chapter 27, and he discerned him not because his hands were hairy as his brother Esau's hand. So he did what to it? He blessed it. And verse 27, and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, see the smell of my son, that's the smell of the field, which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, God give you the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine and let people serve you and nations bow down to you and the Lord over thy, be Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that curses you and blessed be everyone that bless you. And it was over. When Isaac blessed Jacob, he says, by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Now, there wasn't one blessing. Jacob got that one. Esau got a little dribbling over here of something else. Now, here's what I want to tell you. By what? Faith. faith. So when Isaac spoke it, he had to believe that what he said was going to come to pass. Amen. Is that, that any different from Mark eleven twenty three? Whosoever shall what? Say to this mountain, be thou what? Removed. Be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt where in his heart, but shall believe that those things that he says, come on, shall come to pass. He shall have. That is a principle of the kingdom of God. It's not a democracy. It's based on you knowing that if you say it, it's going to happen. Because when God says it, come on, it's going to happen. And he made you exactly like him. Can I keep going here? Notice he released it, but who received it? Jacob. Come on, you can say it. Jacob received it. Now, once he received it, it's done. Now, let's just look at that again. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 5 again. Now, watch this. He says this, he therefore that ministereth to you the spirit and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Keep going. Even as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Let's keep going. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preach before the gospel to Abraham saying, in thee shall all nations, come on, be blessed. Verse 13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. That's talking about you. Being made a what? Curse for us, for it is what? Written. Curse is who? Everyone that hangs on a tree. Now that's talking about Jesus. He hung on the cross, so he got your curse. That the what? Blessing of Abraham might come on the who? Gentile. Through who? Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now the promise of the Spirit told Abraham that through him, all nations of the earth were going to be blessed. 
God said, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make your name great. And you're going to be a blessing. Am I right about that? Now, this promise had to be received. How? By faith. faith. So whatever promises God has for you in your inheritance package in Revelation chapter 5, you got to receive it by faith. Now, faith is not a feeling. Am I right about it? Faith is something that you believe, that you have, that you can't feel yet, but you know you got it, and that you know you got it pretty soon is going to manifest in your life because God says it's yours. And he, watch this, when he said that blessing over Jacob, notice he didn't have a lawyer on the right side making a recording. He didn't have a court reporter making the court report that he just got the blessing on him. He didn't have any witnesses over here that would remind Jacob that that blessing is on you. The only thing that he had is the word of God. The only thing is that came out of his mouth. Now, the only thing, reason why I'm telling you this is because the only thing you got to know that you are blessed is the word of God. The, the only thing, come on now, this, this is all you need. You don't need three dogs to bark the spar spangled banner at midnight to let you know that this is yours. All you need to do is read one thing. Galatians chapter 3 verse 14. So that the blessing of Abraham will come on Bill Winston that he will receive the promise of the spirit through faith. And if God says that, I receive it. Now I am blessed. Let me tell you, wherever I go, I'm going to be expecting to be blessed going in. I'm going to be expecting to be blessed coming out. I'm going to be expecting that God's going to command blessing. He's going to make folks give me favor that don't even like me. He's going to make me come up with business strategies that everything I lay my hands to is going to bring forth. The only reason you don't see that happening is because you don't believe. But I decree from this day, you are a believer. You're going to believe it and it's going to work for you. All your debts, I cancel them right now. I said I cancel every one of them. Now God is transferring everything back into your hands. He's transferring the people. He's transferring the property. Watch this. And he's transferring the problems because you've got blessings that will bring the wisdom for business strategies as to how to solve every problem on planet Earth. Now, don't think you got to have enough money to do this. What you have to have is faith because faith is the only currency God can accept. of faith in your life so you don't have to have any money in the bank. The question is do you have any faith in your heart and how does faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Put Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 10 up there please. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 10. Here's what he said. He says and it shall be when the Lord shall bring you brought you into the land which he swear to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you great and goodly cities, great and goodly cities, which you build not. I'm talking about it's time for us to own some real estate downtown. It's time for you to own something. You don't own anything. Own some apartment buildings. Own something that will produce revenues that you can fix the streets. You don't have to get mad at the mayor because he ain't sending somebody out to your place. Fix it yourself. I'm here preaching to you right now. Whoever you are sitting in the line, the sound of my voice, I'm preaching to you. You are rich and don't even know it. You got so much laid up for you and part of it is in the earth. If you start speaking, if you start decreeing, God will start bringing it in there. My point to you is, it's your time, it's your season. I don't care if where you've been, what your background is, what your color is, it doesn't make any difference. You're on your way up. God not only gonna lift you up, He's not only gonna lift you up, He's gonna protect you in the 
He, come on. He's going to give you prosperity. He's going to make you fruitful. He's going to make you a blessing to other people. All you got to do sometimes is just shout. In. Come on. That's all they have to do. They just march around the building and just shout it. Come on. All you got to do. Hey, she cut up a hunger. Increase your confidence in the blessing to manifest all the promises of God for your life in Pastor Winston's dynamic teaching, Commanding the Blessing. To order your copy of this life-changing message on CD or MP3 on DVD or MP4, contact us online at BillWinston.org. You can also call us at 1-800-711-9327. This is Bill Winston. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever received Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior? Now, somebody said, well, I don't know about that. Let me tell you, when I was a kid, I went to church with mom and dad, but I found out when I got older, I really didn't know him. And what happened, one lady came and took me to a meeting. I confessed Jesus as Lord of my life and a miracle took place. Everything changed. I'm just saying in your life, if you're ready for a change, it's time to confess him. You ask Jesus to come into your heart and watch the miracle take place. If you've confessed that, I want to give you my book. It's called Born Again and Spirit Filled. I want to be the first to say, welcome to the family of Almighty God. God bless you. Revival is here. Join us for the 2024 International Faith Conference hosted by Dr. Bill Winston, Sunday, September 8th through Friday, September 13th, 2024. Inspired by Isaiah 61.4 NLT. This year's theme is Faith for Revival. Six generals of faith will release electrifying messages to supercharge your faith and transform your life. Each night, a sensational musical artist will lead us in worship, lifting our spirits as we press into a deeper connection with God. An unforgettable experience that you don't want to miss. Register now at ifc.billwinston.org to join us in person at Living Word Christian Center in Forest Park, Illinois, or online. A week of miracles, breakthroughs, and a revival like never before awaits you. We can't wait to see you there. Sometimes, as we grow in our Christian walk, we forget about the basics that got us there. Yet, the basics of our faith are the very foundation we need to be successful in our relationship with the Lord and with others, and to fulfill God's plan and purpose for our kingdom destiny. In this Back to the Basics series, a powerful compilation of 16 series of dynamic teachings by Dr. Bill Winston, you will learn how to renew and re-energize your Christian walk. Get your copy of this must-have series on USB. To order, go online at billwinston.org or call us at one 800 Now remember, you need faith to get to your destiny. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. This is Bill Winston. I love you and keep walking by faith.